KOCO's Rob Hughes is live in southeast Oklahoma City. He's at the hotel there near the RV park that took really the brunt of the damage. Rob, a lot of devastation behind you. Abby and Steve, just take a look. Now that it's lighter, you can really see that devastation at this hotel. You can see it right off I-35 south or north if you're near southeast 44th. It's already boarded up, but you can see this storm ripped the roof off. Debris is everywhere. Pieces of this building, the rail, and also I want to show you the RV park, the Roadrunner RV park next to this hotel. Now that's where RVs flipped over during Wednesday's storms, and uh, we do know that a transformer blew up. Propane tanks are everywhere. And you can also see a little bit more than you could previously. All these RVs just slammed up against each other. Certainly a lot of work to do. And this area is taped and blocked off by police because of looters and also for safety reasons because there's lines on the ground, there's nails also. Now, IMSA tells me 13 people at this RV park were hurt, 11 of those non critical injuries, injuries from debris, I'm told, things like bruises and cuts. But two people are in critical condition this morning. Thankfully, nobody was killed, but crews expected to come back out this morning to continue cleanup efforts. Also, county officials expected to come out and give us the very latest updates. For now, we're live near I 35 and Southeast 44th. I'm Rob Hughes, KOCO Live News.